My name is Yvonne Mosquito. I am, does it tell me who I am, or City Councillor? I'm also um, one of the ten chairs of the, these new districts that have been created. So the Ladywood district covers um, Soho, Aston, Nichelles, this is Monica Nichelles, and Ladywood, Aston, Soho, yes. And we are, so the four, the four wards are represented by me as a district chair, and it's a new way of, of the, the new way of wor working. Now, I'm sounding a bit flustered, I don't know why I'm flustered, it's probably because I'm conscious of the next event I've got to go to. I've heard this young man, um, who's been 50 years a resident of, of, of Niche, of High, not Highgate, Digbeth, I hear you, I hear your words, I hear everything you've got to say. I will not comment on the validity of, of any of this, but I'm just saying I hear. Um, and I've heard the young man at the very end, and I'm glad that Mark jumped up and said, well, t I'll take your details later on, because I'm sure he will, and I'm sure there, are, there is something that we can actually do. Now, I was born, not very far from here, in the old Highgate. I was born in Wenman Street, Digbeth, so I, oh, Wenman Street, Highgate, Borsal Heath, but it was part of the Highgate area. So I grew up all along here. I was a resident, lived in St. Martin's Flats before they knocked it down because it's unfit for human habitation. So I'm quite excited about the prospect of having a high speed train coming into our area because of the positive things that it can bring. I do hear what the young man again said about the value of his property going up. And I just want to say to you that my aunt recently died in the Caribbean. And, um, and I always said, I'm, you know, I'm English, I'm proud of it, I don't want to go back to Jamaica because I'm fed up of those relatives that are always asking me for money for my clothes, even though my clothes are generally far too small for them. And when she died, she left her house and she left some land. Then all of a sudden, the Jamaican government, the National Land Agency, decided to do a compulsory purchase of my auntie's land because they were building a road. And all of the houses and any property around that road went up in value. And although I know that the Spanish government didn't give them that much money, but they comp compulsory purchased that land. And a lot of people who were very, very poor got a considerable amount of money for their land. So I, can, I, I hear they issue around property value. But one of the things that I will say to you, and I'm going to read the council speak now, is that the council wants to wants residents to play a full and planned part in neighbourhood regeneration, uplift the area, where, and improve where there is any housing kind of decline. My challenge is this: this is the Ladywood constituency. It is the poorest constituency in England, the fourth poorest in the United Kingdom. So we have the city centre which is very affluent, and most of you here are affluent, and then you have a donut. There are pockets of severe deprivation. So I'm pleased when I heard National Express, and that's why I stayed behind and so I don't mind going after him, saying that we've got this half a million, I like the figures, half a million pounds worth of money to help, um, a charitable money I would imagine to help people in the most deprived kind of areas, helping those kids to go on to further and higher education. Now, when, I, when I first started my job when I came back from university, it wasn't an organisation that was, that was about helping people to get out of poverty, go on to further and higher education because how you pull kids out of the gangs, how you get them into social enterprise, into their own businesses, by getting someone who can help them. Because where I lived, we didn't have anyone. We were very, very poor. Both of my parents were cleaners. So when I went off and did the bar, couldn't afford to practice because I didn't know you had to do pupillage. I didn't know you had to pay for tenancy. So I, in the end, I left the bar pregnant with my first daughter, who has gone off to university and will finish off, I suspect, and will become a lawyer. Um, left her, not unlike Mrs. Thatcher, who left with twins, I left with one child, but was unable to practice because I simply couldn't afford it, because I didn't know. So the organisations like National Express will be there to help people like myself uh, uh, five years ago, or 20-odd uh, years ago then, right? Because, of course, I'm very young. So Section 1 of the Localism Act 2011 enables the council to do anything in furtherance of its functions no other that not otherwise restricted. So, in the words, I'm, and I'm pulling off from, from Mark here, master plan, de-risk investment, simplify planning, Pump prime investment, 40,000 new jobs. We want support for, and you've got the Small Business Federation. 
very very good if you've got a tax investigation they're really good if you've got them behind you you'll do really really well so I'll, I'll promote them you also have in this area C city college it's called south is it called south city Co south and city college but they have an excellent reputation in this area so there are wonderful opportunities for us um, as residents as businesses as politicians for us to work together now, very quickly, in terms of the technological advances, which I'm really, really proud about, again, let me go back to Jamaica. When we were arguing with the National Land Agency, who wanted to pay us peanuts initially for my auntie's land, my, my cousin, who is um, in America, was able to Google me through, no, not Google me, using Google Earth, showed me the precise plot of land in Jamaica. You didn't think anyone would Google Jamaica or have a, a Google Earth of Jamaica, but in Jamaica, where that land was. You not only have opportunities in, in Digbeth, in Birmingham, you now have opportunities through those ethnic minority communities that are growing in other countries as well. So when I went to Jamaica, Jamaica I initially thought, well, it was just African cap. It is not. You've got Pakistani people there, you've got, you've got Chinese, you've got Spanish, you've got Italians, the Dutch. You have everyone in Jamaica. And that is the same in other countries as well. So, and, we, and because of the technological advances, you can speak to your relatives or businesses through Skype. And you can conduct business through Skype. You can give advice to companies in developing countries through Skype or whatever technological things are. Now that you've got the TV becoming a massive computer, and you know those smart TVs that they've got now, aren't they phenomenal? We speak to our telephones and they dial numbers and they say, well, this is where you're going today, Yvonne, and this is, your, this is the address. They Google it for you. Isn't that wonderful? So I see opportunity, opportunity in this area. Now, the thing about the Digbeth Residents Association, and I've always been supportive, is that because you, you've always brought the issues to me, you've made my life very, very easy. Because whatever it's, whether it's Section 106 money, Val's talked about that in the past, right? Whatever those issues are, you have raised them with me. And my job is merely to relay your concerns to the officers who will then make sure those concerns are addressed and adopted in the plans that they're drawing up. So you have spoken to Mark and other officers, and he has come up with these wonderful, this wonderful, what is it, the, 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 the what is it called now? the Enterprise Zone because it was big city plan and I've got lost because of course I'm, I'm involved in the Police and Crimes Commission selection so my brain is all over the place, it's all around policing now but I'm here for the residents of, of my area. So you have wonderful opportunities, you have as far as I'm concerned three supportive local councillors, you have nine, twelve, twelve supportive councillors and you've got the most powerful one of all of course, you've got Albert Bohr part of the Ladywood district, Ladywood, Ladywood councillor, who is in, do you think he's not going to listen to what you've got to say? Do you think he's going to ignore your concerns around any kind of issues in this area? As far as I'm concerned, Digbeth is the heart of Ladywood, Ladywood is the heart of Birmingham, and Birmingham is the heart of our great city, great country, don't you think? Don't you think? Yes, it is. Well, I think it is, because of course I'm going to say so, aren't I? Right, so I think use the resources, use the organisation that you have, right? And if there are any resource issues, remember that under Section 1 of the, 11, of the Localism Act 2011, it enables the council to be creative. So put pressure on Mark, he's got this wonderful title. What are you called again, Mark? Strategic Director for what is that again? <laughs> it's a wonderful, you know something, uh, having been a councillor for such a long time, the, the, the structures change, the names change, the plans change, so just a few months ago it was a big city plan and now it's the, that over whatever, whatever it is, right? So as far as I'm concerned, you email me your concerns and I will respond by sending it on to the officers and if you need me to be, to be an advocate, to be a a, a very tender and soft Rottweiler, I will be one of those for you. But I'm here for you to ensure that we de-risk regular investment, we have simplification for planning, we get pump priming, and we have a wonderful master plan that you are engaged in. Thank and you, you can get in contact with me through Mark. I'm much better now after you spoke. My heart is just so... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Take only one question because oh. it's quarter past... Uh, I'm going to
In my view, it will be positive. I use the word positive, opportunity, positive opportunity. I don't, as a politician, so you've got to be very careful what you say, because I mean, if I be specific, then you will use it against me later on. So it's positive, there are opportunities for business and local residents can get involved and ensure that you shape the planning. It's an opportunity here. You've got, where is the high speed, oh, is that you there? So he's got this community forum that you can get involved in, right? Um, you've got the, officer here, very senior officer, you've got national experience, you've got some local businesses, opportunity, 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 in my view. But I've got to be very careful what I say, because they'll put me in the newspapers and say I've said this when I, when I didn't. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Yvonne. Thank you. I think that person.